I look like a disaster. I have driven home from the lake today and I, you know, just got that. Oh, you can't see me even better. Woo. There we go. Fried look. Look at the fried hair. It was raining and gross when I had to get out. I should have put it up. Then we wouldn't have seen how fuzzy it was. So all I'm going to do right now, just so we can get going, is I'm going to make sure that I am, I'm going to find myself. And we know that I have issues finding myself. So we're just going to make sure that I've got this all playing out to the right page. Oh, 13 of you on. There we go. Check one. Hi, Mary Spicer. Yay. Okay, so I can see you guys. All good. Okay, now YouTube peeps, give me two seconds. YouTube. Oh, I see myself on YouTube. Myself. Oh, I also heard myself. Hi, sweetie. No, it's like, it's crazy hair today. Seriously, I was like, yeah. Anyway, this clip, it won't do it. It's just too small of a clip, so I can't clip it up. But we'll get away from there so that you don't have to see my crazy hair. And we will get going. So do you remember the other day when we did by the dock? Let me just transfer over. Hi, loves. Um, yay, yay, yay. This makes me so happy. I got peeps on. When we did by the dock the other day and I was having so much fun with um, the background, well, then I became obsessed. And just so you know, I think I made, I've got five cards ready for you for this week. So I'm super excited. So we're going to start off with this one here. Oh, not you. So what I've done in advance, no, I'm impressed. I got something ready in advance is I have gone in and I have got a piece of Whisper White. It is, I have no idea, what was it? Four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. I do have an idea, I remember that. Hi guys, hi Janet. Now, I've got two pieces of torn, just gray paper, because I have bits left over. What time is it there? It is, it's 8.04, my time. I knew what you were saying, you don't have to spell it right now, you're all good. Okay, so we're gonna come in and we're gonna throw this. I need to make sure that my paper's straight though. This is just, so the glue you just saw me using, it is called Dotto. It's, I don't know, it, it's old. Stampin' Up used to carry it. Oh, banner please. Thank you very much, Mary Spicer. Um, Stampin' Up used to carry it. And it is a temporary adhesive. I moved the banner. So, okay, Mary Spicer warned me it was up. I have to take it down myself. Okay, now I don't want these to match up. So let's kind of make them... There-ish. Did I bring my sample card over to myself? I did. They feel like they still really match up. I don't want them to match. Is that bad? I want them to be less matchy-matchy. So we'll just kind of... So look at what I'm doing. I'm just kind of tearing off some paper. Let's see if that one... Yeah, that's more what I want. Okay, less matchy-matchy. But now my paper's not straight. <laughs> I am going to walk myself in a circle tonight. Okay, there we go. We'll go like that. Okay, now make sure there's nothing on there. Now, colors that I chose for this. I've got my sample card here, but I can't show it to you. It is a surprise. Oh, I did this totally wrong. Oh my God, that was funny. Watch this. So now let's take it off. Good thing we used Dotto, which is a temporary adhesive. So look at this. Isn't that cool? I realized when I did mine, I actually did it the other way. So what we're going to do, take that off. I have to remember what I did. Okay, so we're going to do this again. We're going to rip, 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 rip. Hope the heck I left it wide enough. We'll go like that. We'll stick some Tombow or some Dotto in the middle. That's what I was meaning to do. Not middle, middle. Talk much? Okay, so we got that. Oh, it's 11.04. Good Lord, girl. I'd be in bed. I can't stay up that late. Okay. So now I've got a whole lot of ripped paper around me so we can get rid of that. So we're gonna leave that centerpiece there. Now I'm gonna start off with my Blushing Bride. Okay, so ink it up just with your blending brushes, sloop it on your paper, start going off of that torn edge that we've done. Do do. I know I was driving, so tomorrow's back to school for me. I've been on spring break. And so today was drive down from the lake day and I hit a crazy windstorm on the way down. And so when I was in this area called Kamloops, it actually looked, I was like, what's happening? But it was like a sandstorm, all the dust from the road, um, like from the winter where they sand the roads here, it was blowing everywhere. It was crazy town. And it was like 
Looney, hello from your flooded city. I'm sorry, Melissa. Um, can't sleep, might as well watch. Yes, I, I feel like, yeah, we got a lot of crazy winds. I know Alberta's got crazy winds right now too because they've got, I know there's some fires even happening there. I just get, sh I schlooped. That's okay. Schlooping's fine. So we've got that kind of, what's it called? Blushing bride base. Say that 10 times fast, people. Okay, so next. I'm not gonna do anything more with blushing bride. I can give it a little, doesn't matter how far down it goes because my next color will cover it up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very windy night. So next color, Highland Heather, okay? So squish it off and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna just kind of let it go over top of, I'm not really pushing very heavily. I feel like that's Dotto that I've got stuck there. What did I do with my, there it is, adhesive eraser. We're just gonna check. If it's Dotto, it should come off and it did come off, there we go. Okay, so all I'm doing now is I've got my Highland Heather and we're just adding in, we're going up with a little bit of purple, okay? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Do the same thing down here, squoosh it off and then go in. And I'm not like, I'm kind of mashing it into the Blushing Bride um, and I'm just covering up the rest of that white space. Look, I still got, I left Dotto behind. Don't leave your Dotto behind. There. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, so now we've got that bit of purple in. Super fun. Hello, Cheryl Easton. Okay, now it looks a little bit splotchy. I can see that when I look on the screen. I think you're probably going, oh my God, Ash, that's ugly. What are you doing? I promise it's gonna look cute. Or the card turned out cute. So even if this looks ugly, it doesn't matter. Do you have to make that noise when you, yes, it does. That, you do. So it helps, Mare. It's more effective inking if you make that noise. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not. Okay, now look at, now I goobed. I'm making a mess tonight. I think it was because I stuck all the dotto. Don't put dotto in places you don't want it. Okay, so all we're doing there is kind of working in a bit of purple. Boop, 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 boop. We'll do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, and this is just that gorgeous grape. Hello, Rita Winter. Toot. Just making it a little bit darker. Was your eraser? Yes, it was square to start. Can you see that it's had a lot of love, girl? Okay, so I've got a big purple splooch there, but I feel like I can cover that. Okay, this, are you ready? Do you love my nuttiness? Good. Hello from a sleepy lady from Florida. Hi, Jan. This is the best part. Are you ready? Watch. Oh, I love this. Whoop, look at this. Isn't that so fun? Okay, now ignore the ugly fact that there's Dotto in the middle. I will take that off. Prefer, I should have checked my thumb to make sure it had no ink because you don't want to smear ink on it. Don't you love that look? So Dotto just rubs off, but apparently my hands tonight are just not doing what they're supposed to do. So we'll just use this because I can get more pressure. There we go. Okay, so clean it off. And you've got that like, I don't know, but look at it. It's very satisfying. It is very, it's like cutting grass, you guys. So when you take that off and look at it, it does that gorgeous kind of edge. It's all kind of fun. Anyway, sorry, I get a kick out of stuff like that. First time commenting. Hi, Denise. Welcome to Crazy With Us. I know, Janet, I'm addicted to the brushes. Like, seriously. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do. We're actually going to go into this gorgeous Posies stamp set, which I'm, I'm kind of loving and really wishing I had used more. It goes with one of the kits that's in the catalog, um, but it's a gorgeous stamp set on its own peeps. And I think I had decided, I didn't use these on my original card, but I'm going to. We're going to use a lot of stamps tonight. Okay, so let's start off with, let's get our sentiment in. Um, big. We're gonna go gorgeous grape with this one. Mm -hmm. Hello from Saskatoon, Lorianne Sutherland from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. There's a lot of S's there, Lorianne. Hi, Tanya. I'm, uh, I'm feeling very energetic for a Sunday night. A little bit. Get, I've got back to school anxiety. I get it every time. I get it at Christmas. I get it at spring break. I'm that person. I'm a dork. I know. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to stamp. Sorry, I'm pulling it close to me for one sec. I'm just going to stamp my sentiment. 
There, ta-da. Hi, Core. Okay, so we've got, oh, look at that. Celebrating your day. Doesn't it look so good stamped in that white space? Now, while we've got that purple posy, oh, sorry, my, um, what color was that? My gorgeous grape. We're actually gonna grab, I've got a little bit of stamping I wanna do. So, I'm gonna pull, look at Cora the Celebrity. Okay, so we've got this one here. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually going to stamp one of the large flowers. Oops, sorry, I'm totally banging things there on you. I apologize, guys. In Highland Heather. Very satisfying, you ready? Okay, okay, Whew, looks good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp these little dingleberry thingies in gorgeous grape, so ink it up. Okay, now I'm gonna stamp these off. Let me just check how dark they are. Oh yeah, that'll work, okay. Because I just wanna get this proper look. Well, the party is ready to start. Corey is in the house. Corey is in the house. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna stick the center on our posy. Now we're gonna give the center of the posy some eyes. I know that sounds weird. Every Sunday this year. Yeah, dude, I'm with your husband. It is. It's like, what are we walking into? <laughs> Ah, uh, and my, um, I'm not going to get into it because I, I don't, you know, don't know anything and don't want to spread rumors, but my, my community was rocked yesterday, uh, where I live about kind of 10 blocks from my house. Some random person, uh, came in and stabbed six people and killed one of them. And so community here, it's, it, there's, a, I think, a lot of anxiety happening tonight. You know, everywhere, there's so many unexpected things. So we are on tonight so that we can forget about them. So I'm not going to go into any details on it because I, I don't know details and I don't want to speculate. But it's one of those, yeah, the, being on here, it is a happy place. My last week with virtual lessons with my kindergarten grandson. We'll finally get to have some time. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh my God. Watching little kids on zoom. You guys, if you haven't, it's one of those things it's worth watching. If you know someone who teaches kindergarten, watching them on zoom is, it, it is absolutely insanity. I know, I know, but it, again, I know that there's so many places in the world that stuff is going down and Corey will keep us on track too, but we are going to keep Dingleberry. Yeah. Well, they mean something to me too. So I, I will admit, I probably get a good giggle out of that when I said it myself. Yes, my family is okay. Okay, so we're coming in here and all I'm doing here is I'm just going to give myself one extra little set. There, <laughs> one set of dingleberries. I know, look at Carla, that's crazy, you live in Canada. I know, that's what we said. It can happen anywhere though. It can happen. And I, I think one of the things, and this is not me being a downer or depressing, um, mental health right now for so many people is uh it's it's a struggle okay so we have got pear pizzazz people love myself a little pear we're gonna stamp uh you're gonna be stuck with me for a while because we have to fussy cut these two there's no die set for this one three okay we've got that now i'm trying to think what else i need to do while i'm in here blushing bride can go away don't put it down put it away you didn't want to flash my badge. I know I love you. I'm being positive. I am. I promise. I'm okay. Um, community I live in is amazing. And people just like rock start it. Dingleberries be the same thing worldwide. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. You guys see? There you go, Cor. We already went south. You love my rings? Okay. So do you want to hear a story? Um, this, well, that's my wedding ring, but I have issues with things being symmetrical. So my wedding ring is a sleeve ring, go figure, which needs to be cleaned from the looks of it. Good God. So that's my wedding ring. This one, my mother gave me for my 40th birthday, which I love. And then this one, my niece, who some of you have seen on Rebecca, she's worked with me before, but Bex is now doing jewelry making. And so she made me that one there and I love it. Okay. Gonna have to watch the replay. Just drop your phone on your face. Yeah, Jan, go to bed, girl. Okay, so now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this little sentiment here. So we've got celebrating your day, and then I'm, we stamped that in the gorgeous grape. So now we're gonna go to some Highland Heather. Tap, 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 tap. 
Alaska, and I'm going to come in here, and I need to make sure this is straight. I don't think I stamped very straight the first time, but we'll just roll with it. There we go. Perfect, okay? And I'm not worrying about my little goob over there because I can cover that up with a leaf. Oh, I, Elizabeth, I feel like it's a teacher thing, right? Like the number of times we hear stuff, thought of you right away, yes. So, Loria, it is. It's it's literally 10 blocks from my house. That's uh... Okay, close it. Got it. Done. Are you ready? Should we do some cutting? Um, what are you? Pear. Close it. Must be a teacher thing. I go there. I know it is. I think it's because some of the stuff we hear kids say during the day. Now I want to find a way to incorporate these cute little branchy thingies. So we're going to play with that. Okay. You needed this tonight. I needed it tonight too. Core. Oh my God. Okay. So here you guys, I've realized something when I, so I was at the lake and I came down today, just the boys and I, Sean doesn't ha have to be, he'll be back on Thursday. He doesn't have to work till Friday. So I'm a basket case when we drive in the snow, like a complete and total basket case. I, I will often burst into tears and um, what's happening? We're making cards. We're getting crazy, girl. And like, I, I seriously can. Hi, Linda. Ooh, I have the steps. Sorry, I'm double checking these. I've never caught you live. Oh, hello, Fast Quilter and Vanderhoof. Oh my gosh. Spring break, mentioned I'm a retired teacher. Never had a regret. I love it. Okay, so yes, I'm a basket case. When my husband drives in the snow, he is a phenomenal driver, but I have been known on many occasions to cry in the car <laughs> while driving in the snow. And I realized today I love driving in the snow. I didn't have my husband there. I could drive at the speed that I felt was safe and stay back from other cars at a distance that I felt was safe. And it caused me no anxiety. You're exchanging dingleberry recipes. Yes, apparently I am referring to rude things, but was, you know, didn't realize they were rude worldwide. Okay, so anyway, yes, I, I feel bad saying this, but I don't want to drive with my husband in the snow anymore. It was a very lovely, calm experience. The only part that was not calm was we hit, um, His Royal Highness is totally a wreck. He has to drive more than five minutes. If, um, only time I was a wreck was, it was super windy at one point. And I'm talking wind gusts that you were kind of white knuckling it so that the car didn't, you know, get pushed off. And I'm going through mountain passes. So for some of you, you're like envisioning me driving across wide open prairie. No, no, I'm not. I'm driving through mountain ranges. So, you know, drop off the side. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, so that part I did not like. The wind was a little iffy. But then once I got through the wind, well, then I went into a full-blown snowstorm. I should post a picture after. So were you like no lanes on the road and it's three lanes each way, but you have one lane that's enough that you can drive in because the other two are covered. Anyway, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it today. So I feel like if there's another snow issue that I will just drive my own car and take myself there. And I made great time. It's not even that I was way slower than when I go with my hubby. But I just, it was good. Okay. The feeling of control. I, okay, Chris, I'm with you. I agree. I think that was it. I, I will admit, I find Sean, he doesn't tailgate in the snow, but he's too close for my comfort. And I'm always the loser that's counting them on Mississippi too when he's driving to make sure that he's back far enough. And so today in the snow, like, there was a big long line of people and everyone was kind of doing, you know, 70 and staying well back from one another. Now I say 70, I'm saying 70 kilometers an hour, not miles per hour. Okay. I have threatened hubby that I'm going to make up a hood like they make falcons. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Anyway, so no, but it was a, it was a great experience. Not a 60 second delay. No. Oh my God. Okay. So Corey and I are laughing one day because this was last summer, I think, or no, this time last year, because Joe is getting ready to do his learner's license test. And Joe is doing these like practice tests online and occasionally he'll pause and ask you a question and how far between this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm laughing going, oh my God, I don't know if I'd pass my own driving test now because I don't remember some of these rules. Hi, Jan West. <gasps> Hello, Judy Llewellyn. Oh, I love that name. Do, now, do you say it? It's my brother-in-law's middle name but he's got it. He says it like with the proper Welsh accent and it cracks me up every time. 
What did you say? I was going on no sleep when I made this comment. She was not. She was totally alert. Hi, my sweet Sharon. Anyway, so I'm saying to Corey, how far back should you be driving in wet conditions from another car? And it's like more to do with meters or second. I don't know, whatever. Can't even remember what it was. Well, Corey says 60 seconds. Well, my 16-year-old at the time busts a gut. Like, seriously. He's like, seriously, 60 seconds? He was laughing so hard at us. Uh, it was embarrassing. I was like, we really don't know much. Sorry, I'm totally cutting. Okay. Boop, boop. If I don't answer in comments, just bear with me. I'm trying to not chop off my fingers or my tongue. Alert but sleep. No, neither one of us. But I don't think that, I think that we both got it wrong, Cor. And then I think he laughed at us going, wow, seriously, the fact that you two are allowed to drive is a bit terrifying. He actually, he did a lot of driving when we were at the lake. Hot. Oh, Shelly King, what's wrong? Why are you making an angry face? Oh no, look at Shelly. Okay, you guys can't see it. She's on YouTube, but she made a very angry face and it says, hello, Angela. But I don't know. Oh, but she spelled my name funny too. Shelly King, are we okay? Are you mad at me? What did I do? Do you ever love those things when people make funny faces? When they do those kind of comments and online and it looks angry. There we go. Okay, sorry, I'm totally cutting and talking. And if I start looking, I stop cutting. And these flowers could take us until God knows when if I keep talking. We're almost there. We've already done all of our leaves. We're just down to our last two flowers, okay? Hi, Melissa. For the first time live? Oh my gosh. Ooh, can I tell you guys a super funny one? Yes. I know, Helen, I get that. The braking, we needed passenger seat brake. Okay, so the other day, speaking of voices, I think I told Corey this. It was super creepy. Um, <clears throat> I was sitting at home, and it was, I don't know, it was relatively early in the morning. The boys were not up, and I was up in my craft room. I think Sean was outside. No, Sean wasn't even there. And all of a sudden, my phone rings, and I was like, okay. And I said, hello. And then I couldn't hear what the person said at first. They said something about happy birthday. And it was, I was like, okay, well, my birthday was two weeks ago, but maybe it's just someone remembering late. So I was like, oh, you know, thanks. And then they went, this isn't so-and-so, is it? And I laughed and I said, no, it's not. And they were like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm setting up for making cards Monday. Sorry, just learning. No, no, don't be sorry, Shelly. I just, I just didn't want to do anything. I had hoped I hadn't angered someone. Anyways, so he says, uh, what stamps are we using? Just a second, I will show you, love. There you go. It is our gorgeous Posies stamp set. Um, And so I didn't really think anything of it. He was like, I'm so sorry, I have the wrong number. I was like, no problem at all. Like, don't worry, it's not a big deal. So I get off the phone, and about two minutes later, I have a text message. And it's from the same number, and it says, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean, like, I feel like an idiot. My face is red. And I just replied back, like, oh, my gosh, it's not a big deal. Like, do not worry about it. Well, then the person responds back saying, oh, and by the way, you have the sexiest voice. Okay, block, creepy. What is that? Who says that to people? And I don't have a sexy voice. I have a whiny voice. My kid is turning 50 next month. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Maris, get your massages booked now for when she turns 16. My massage therapist said, she's like, you're very tense. And I was like, yeah, I think it's driving with a 16-year-old. You do a lot of grabbing, we call it the holy poop handle, but we don't use the word poop. You know, the one that's up high and a lot of passenger side braking. Oh, yeah. Well, apparently I am starting a new kind of life, according to him. That was so creepy, but I did block him. This is so new. No, Shelly, we totally get used to this stuff. I promise. Oh, so gross, Mare. Because he was young. Like, you know when you can tell their voice? I'm like, oh, no, you're wrong. You're young. Still creepy, creepy. Okay. We're almost done. I'm almost ready. Now, what color brown? I'm feeling like I'm going to use some soft suede. Can we use, see that little spriggy looking branch thing that's up above right there? What is it? Can someone tell me before I go stamping it? Because I feel like it kind of looks like branchy. And I was going to let it show, but I, I don't know what it is. Okay. Now, let's get rid of, let's get rid of our fancy paper, the grid paper, and just go back to our black there. Now, I did do one other little bit of stamping, and I haven't done it on this card. Maybe I will. Okay. 
So I'm going to grab this one. And antlers. <laughs> Ew, David. What's David? I don't get it. I don't know what that one is. What's that one? Ew, David. I totally missed it. Okay, veins on the leaves. Do we do that? I like that he called you ma'am. And then I know, isn't that creepy? Super creepy. Don't call me ma'am. <laughs> that's more of an insult. Reindeer antlers. Veins of the leaves. Well, that's boring. So I just stamp those like right over top like that. Should we do it? Should we do it on one? I don't want to wreck it. Okay, now these, I'm going to stamp these off. So look what I did here, antlers. Look at us. We are should not be allowed... We are not botanists. Is that the word? Veins for the leaves. Okay. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit. Look at this. I'm using like inner floral bits. And I'm just adding a little zhuzh. A little zhuzh factor to our card. Okay. So stick those on. Just like that. Whoop. Oh, I don't care. I get super funny ones. I laugh at the funny faces sometimes. I was never taught how to use a computer to... Oh, Shit's Creek. Ew, David. It's veins for the leaves. Okay. Well, so I feel like we should use them because I feel like I should use every stamp that's in the set. I, at least I should know how. Okay. We're going to do it, people. Use a scrap to test. Good idea, Kathleen. Okay. So, Kathleen, we're using a scrap. We're going to go not on here. I need to do it on regular basic white, though, because otherwise it's not going to look the same, right? Okay. There we go. I'm going to come in here. Oh, yeah, I like the leaves better with the veins. Do you? Can we agree? Are we liking the veins better? Can you look at my veins? <laughs> look at my veins. Not the ones on the backs of my knees, people. Yes, I like how I have to get told what the stamps are for. Okay, veins or no veins? We need a vote. Vein it up? No vein it up. Vein it up? I feel like we should. I totally feel like we should vein it up. I called it basic white. Aren't you proud of me? I know. Okay, so it looks like you're liking the veins. Hmm. Yes, veins. Okay, so I got one to veins. I got two to veins. I got three to veins. I got four to veins. Everyone's saying go with the veins. With. Okay, we're veining it up. <laughs> Denise Moffat, you were the deciding vote. You veined it. Okay. Boop. That is very satisfying to stamp the veins onto the leaves. You have to make that noise. Boop. Totally helps. Okay, we're going to do one more. You're all still voting and I'm already finished stamping. Doop, there we go. I got veins. Okay, now we need dimensionals. This was such a good idea tonight. I needed this. I needed you guys tonight. Happy place. Up, up, up. Okay. My down low. <clears throat> first step. Blossom one. You're coming in first. Doot, doot. <clears throat> Toss and you're going to go here-ish. Okay. <clears throat> I love that everybody agreed on the veins. We don't often all agree on something. Okay. And then this dude is going to come in here because then he can cover up that schlep that I had. We did not want. Okay. And then this little darling, you're going to get tucked in up in here. You need to talk lovingly to your flowers, people. This would make good sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Don't you? Like, I thought it was little sticks. I was going to, like, make little brown sticks poking out everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cover up my cute little thing there. Maybe I'll take you down low. Okay. There we go. Sounds like a song. <laughs> it's a very veiny night. Oh, what a night. Ish. Ish is totally a word. Do, 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 do. Okay. This little dude, he's coming in. Now, I did use, um, I used basic rhinestones on here because I, at that point, wasn't sure what else to use. Oh, my sentiment's up a little bit higher than the last one. That's okay. Okay, so she names her plants. It does. It's totally. I need seal. Where is that? If I were seal, where would I be? I would be right there. We have a, pl a classroom plant. One of my students bought it for me, and we... <laughs> We have, well, we now have two. Herbert is the cactus. We named him. Herbie's pretty cute. And then we got daffodils. We did name them Lucy. They were quite adorable. But, and, oh, and then someone gave me this super cute little rubber chicken that sits beside them. And his name is, is his name Stu or Herbert? I can't remember. I'm totally having a, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's what we do in class. We name things. 
Okay, so now let's come in here. Do, 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 come on in. I know I'm getting crazy. Like this is so outside of my realm using things like blending brushes. A wink of Stella. Elizabeth, are you one of those? Do you wink it up, girl? I use that stick, but where they dingleberries. I know I don't use Gorgeous Grape ever, but it is really pretty. Pretty, pretty. Hi, Pamela Kirby Davies. It is so fun seeing all the people that are on YouTube too. Look at there's 143 of us on right now. So fun. Not just on one. Sorry, that's kind of on both. Okay, now I, I have an issue here. I just have to line this up. Nobody breathe. Okay, then I'm going to go to doot doot. Whisper white. Nope, I lied. Basic white, card base. Come on, Corey, caught one in there. Does that count? go and then this little darling is going to get popped up onto here because one can never use enough dimensionals now what day is it tomorrow tomorrow's monday oh we'll be back on tomorrow night and i already have my card ready it's not going to be it's oh it's a mystery monday huh i wonder if i can do mystery monday with you guys with blending i wish i should try that how many of you have blending brushes or sponges can we do that do you want it do you want it do you want it want to do it okay I'll put this down so cute okay so we've got that one stuck onto there it's good to talk to the plants they do well oh well we talk to plants and it's watering day on tuesdays so mind you the cactus doesn't appear to need much we seem to be doing okay there now i need to find my rhinestones can we yeah did you, did you guys hear what i was saying to you can we do a mystery stamping night you do Gorgeous posies, gorgeous grape, and a gorgeous card. Oh, and a gorgeous comment from Lori Baxter. Thank you, Lori Baxter. Oh, okay. Well, then do you want to use them tomorrow night? Don't forget to give Ange a thumbs up. Oh, my God. Kathy, you're hired, girl. I forget. All those things, they do. They do help, especially on YouTube. Well, they do help on Facebook, too. The thumbs up and the comments. When you guys comment, it does. It totally helps. Why do I have so many rhinestones here? And not one. Oh, there. I was going to say, I know there's got to be some that I have not opened. Okay, so let's, do you guys want to do those tomorrow night? I'll give you the measurements. You love this card. Thanks, Lise. I'm excited for you. The first time is magical. Can I be your first? That sounds kind of fun. Okay, so here. Come in here and let's go. Boop. And then we'll take a boop. And then we will take one more. And we will call it done. Kind of, again, super not me either. Froofy colors, love it. I talk to everything, so do I. Isn't that what we're supposed to do, Mare? Oh, there's Darlene. Hi, Darlene. Um, okay, so then I'll show you my sample. That was the one that I had done. So they're very, very similar. I do like the veins. So vein free, veiny. Yes, I do like them. But I do feel like we should do a little bit of blending brushes for tomorrow night. Blending brushes, shoot, guilty, give you a thumbs up now. I didn't know. Well, don't feel guilty. I didn't know that. Like, I learned so much stuff from people telling me that if you give thumbs up, it does it. Anyway, so, so much fun, you guys. And this all came out of our doc card that we did the other night. And then my need to obsessively play with my brushes for the rest of the afternoon that day. So I do have... Uh, how many cards do I have? I've got four cards left to show you this week, all done with the blending brushes. And some with tearing, some not with tearing, some with masks. Anyway, okay, so just a second. Do, do. So I want you guys, please don't forget, head over to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com, okay? And then because Gorgeous Posies, this stamp set that I used, it is retiring. So it is item number 153289. If you missed it, just a second, I'll show you. This is the one that goes with, whoop, grab my little box. Hang on. It goes with this, right? Like this is that card kit that you could buy. And then the Posy stamp set was kind of a coordinating one. Now I have some left, I, but there you go. You can kind of see it in there. It doesn't have a ton of stamping in it. So you could use other sentiments for sure with the kit, but the stamp set on its own is stunning. 
Anyway, my darlings, I hope that you all have a fabulous evening and I will see you tomorrow night at seven. Night.